our junk DNA also corresponds with the earth grids. Our DNA period does. So if, if the earth grids are being messed with and distorted, it keeps our junk DNA alive. Basically, <clears throat> mass biological and mind control devices exist well beyond the technology of implanting tiny physical chips into humans, which accompanied many of the abductions by the greys and non-benevolent Zetas. And also they are an impending application of such electronic devices by the one world government to the population. Even brain signatures radiated by government harp and Gwen towers are relatively superficial compared with the ancient existing global grid systems, which can be used for manipulating the evolution of all life on the planet, including the planet's evolution itself. And that's from Noel Huntley, PhD about global grid systems. So it's, it's literally like giving it a script. It's programming it to create an artificial timeline that leads to more enslavement of the human race. Fortunately, like I said, there's been a lot of grid workers and they've been successful. Um, I'm not gonna go into this, but you guys can just you know kind of read it. But it's about, you know, on our planet today, the uh, geometric architecture, something called the VP network and uh, or, or the dodecahedron and pentagonal controls over carbon matter. These are alien structures and AI systems that build binary bi-wave geometric systems that have been installed in the planetary brain to create a certain low level frequency field. Um, and so this is the reversal kind of energy that has made the ether not available to us. And so we're in different times now. These geometries actually are a part of the program that is the governance of where these energies are directed and what they're used for. This is the game with the negative alien agenda with the artificial architecture, which collects energy, harvests it and sends it off planet uh, to their preferred people, namely the MyLab secret societies in the new world order that are carrying out the control agendas. So, so those energies are collected and basically given with preference to beings who serve whatever their control-based agenda is. So it's kind of like feeding the troops. <laughs> it's really kind of sick and twisted. So you can find out more. Um, there's all that on the Ascension Glossary. And so when we look at the correction of you know, the earth grids, it's also the correction of our DNA. And so what we do in our own inner work will affect all of this in the outer world. The negative agenda had a very long time to plan for this awakening that we're currently in. They didn't expect us to be where we're at right now though. And so their plans are kind of falling short. <clears throat> As we see everything that they try and do, every card they play, there is an, a brilliant chess move coming from the other side. And we're not just talking about you know, a presidential figure. We're talking about white hats. We're talking about positive military. We're talking about things on a galactic scale, other races that are um, assisting right now. Uh, these negative agendas though, they require emotional, etheric and vital energy to sustain themselves. Mankind has long been their primary food source. They feed upon energies that are in resonance with their own soul vibrations, negative emotions, psychological suffering and perversions. So that's the indoctrination is that they're engineering humans to be their food source, but also to uh, not, not look towards morality or spirituality or truth. The first rule of Satanism is the law of reversal. Baphomet was designed as an intentional anti-Christo Sophia emanation used to pervert hierogamic union and intersacred marriage through sexual energy harvesting and exploitation of human beings. Baphomet rituals were spread on the earth through a secret pact of blasphemy and sacrilege designed to utterly destroy the Christ Sophia architecture. True natural and cosmic law in its organic flow is the law of unconditional love. So we got to recognize this. This is why it's so important to build healthy energy fields around ourselves, around our homes, um, and make it, you know, the sanctuary that you can exist within. Because then that energy will continue to grow because you're able to integrate, you know, energies from your higher self and, and you're able to really illuminate that divine blueprint. So if you're not being poked at and harassed, with all these intrusions coming in from the electronics or from false news sources, you know, we have a chance to really raise our vibration in the comfort of our own home and achieve amazing things because, you know, reclaiming our spiritual abilities and self mastery. I mean, we see what yogis are capable of doing and, and spiritual masters, but you know, it's going to take a bit. There's a lot of detoxing that needs to happen. There's a lot of deprogramming, a lot of traumas, and a lot of wounds that we have to address in order to create the optimal space for ourselves. To, to, to do this. And it's really difficult in these times. You know, the very thing that's kind of triggering us and pushing us over the edge, in response to it, we have to be at our best spiritually and energetically. It's not very easy, you know, when, when we're witnessing all this, and especially if you're empathic. 
it, it can be really, really hard to hold your space together. But the whole point of building community is that we can assist one another. And that's what I want to do with uh, the Cosmic Gaia um, subscription. You know, there's four events a month. I can even do more than that. And, um, you know, we just build community and work this kind of energy together. Like next uh, Saturday, I'm going to have an uh, expert on trauma, you know, who, who's going to give some great counsel, I'm sure, to a lot of people. So the AI timeline wars, as you see, the particle, antiparticle, and the full spectrum of frequency, you know, is 12 to 15. 12 being more in the, um, where there's physical form and the 13, 14, 15 is the cosmic trinity. We're dealing with 13 dimensional planetary core though. The mother energy anchored her energy into the planetary core and it's a 13 dimensional energy which connects us to the zero point and also Andromeda. So this energy has returned and I'll get into it more but when we look at the 13th gate and the significance of the number 13, that is very much about uh, you know human advancement and kind of connecting with our divine mother and you know really recovering and healing because a part of how uh, dark it's been um, for the last 26,000 years is the mother energy wasn't fully anchored. And so that feeling of loss and disconnect from our true mother has been very painful, you know, for people. It's been very, very dark. And so they're just trying to trick people out of aligning with this um, in whatever way they can. But it's here. Everything that we possibly could need is here for us to advance ourselves. But the collective has got to get on board. So then you've got the phantom matrix overlay AI timelines. And, uh, and that's a 10 sphere model. So fortunately, there's a group of individuals called the Orifim. They were created by the founder races. They hold all three founder flames, which is violet, gold, and blue. They're mostly associated, associated with the Blu-ray consciousness, which connects to the goddess in the 13th gate. They were brought in to interact more in order to handle the opposition and the wars. They cross with the human imprint in order to be able to take on the densities through the human form. They are considered to be aligned with the guardian founder races. The Anunnaki was supposedly created in response to this to be an opposing group and are connected to the fallen Elohim and reptilian and Syrian DNA mixing. So all these different hybridization things that took place. But, you know, when we think about star seeds, advanced souls, crystal kids, whatever, um, indigo, um, and some of the avatars that have come to the planet, they're holding that aura from consciousness. It can be switched on within all beings to help heal the genetic digression that has taken place, but the willingness has to be there. So anyway, if you look at this 13, 14, 15, you've got these different uh, energies, universal earth core, aquamarine, the aqua ray, uh, and that is the mother arc. And that is the earth core sun, diamond heart. Then you've got the universal pale gold, and that's connected to the avian seraphim. And then you've got the 15, which is considered the father arc. So you got the mother, the father, and the child. So the father arc is a universal pale magenta and is connected to the cetaceans and the whales and the aquifarians. And the aquifarians went extinct a long, long time ago with the electrical wars, but they're, they have been able to come back. So in the earth, a human lineage, there are seven root races and five additional races seeded within the earth gene pool. The seven root races are called the earth seeds each earth seed root race evolution cycle was to develop one of the first five, one to five strands of DNA within the 12 strand DNA. The latter additional five races are referred to as the cloister races. Their function was to keep the 12 strand DNA potential alive for the entire human race and represent the advancement of human evolution. The cloister races are also called the star seeds. So this information is Kelantic science and also, you know, stuff that Lisa Renee brings in from the guardian groups. You know, these are universal truths. These should be textbooks that we hand our children growing up. This isn't just theoretical. I mean, this is like the real science and education, um, spiritual science, I guess you could call it, or just quantum physics and spiritual galactic history truth, you know, the whole picture. Um, and so some individuals been able to download all this stuff. So I like to bring it in to my presentations because it just doesn't get much better than that. Many star seeds were aware of a psycho-spiritual warfare between extraterrestrial races and came to this planet as embodied human intelligence portals to feed back to the overall group effort and its reconnaissance mission back to their home planet or universe. However, when most got here, they were subjected to many alien implants, mind control systems, 
dark force infiltration and victim victimizer software like all human beings. For those reasons, many still remain asleep or subverted to the fact of their true spiritual mission and consciousness. However, it has been generally understood that during the end cycle, the neutron window is opening between the third dimensional planet Earth, which intersects with the universal transharmonic gateways. <clears throat> the transgate timelines are that which allow these star seeds to reconnect and return to their home frequency after this tour of duty. So, I mean, this is what I'm kind of you know, trying to say to people, you know, there's gonna be a certain point where those with these kind of missions are not here anymore. And you're gonna kind of miss us, I bet. Or we're gonna see a mass global awakening and that's what I'm hoping for. Um, but, you know, bifurcation is real. We, we're not gonna be able to share a timeline that, you know, continues to digress. We're not gonna be able to match. I mean, the frequency is um, so incredibly different and, and it's just, and there's just no way. There will be an absolute refusal anyway. What that looks like as far as, you know, is it, does it mean the mothership's coming or we go, you know, underground or um, we just, some kind of split just occurs and we don't really fully recognize it. It's just a part of what we wake up to every day is the timeline subtly changes for the better. I'm not quite sure what that's going to look like. But anyway, we're undergoing a war over timelines. The invading forces of the negative alien agenda who use the artificial tree of life as a manifestation grid. And again, that's 10 spheres. So everything we're up against, you know, I share this in a lot of my presentations. The list is long. Nephilim reversal grid, false flag agendas to lower consciousness and create false fake war on terror, 5G, directed energy weapons, pedophilia, SRA, transhumanisms, <clears throat> you know, whatever took place with these ET government treaties, which have been around a long time, false movements and uh, medical industry taking advantage of our disempowerment, you know, pushing things on us, not supporting our connection with nature and earth plant medicines, possible fake alien invasion. I don't know about that yet. I mean, false ascended masters perhaps too. I mean, that's, you know, we're being hit from all directions. Anything that's false is imitating what actually exists. So if we're real true to ourselves and we're real with ourselves, we're going to be able to tell the difference. Anyway, possible second wave, pandemic, riots, we already have that, funded movements and trigger events, and duality increasing. So, and then the psyops, you know, that are continuing to try and divide and conquer us and beat us down into submission. And now the divide and conquer isn't so much about, oh, who did you vote for? Or, you know, it, it, although that is very much how it can be, uh, that agenda can, can funnel through, um, you know, choosing, you know, sides or being affiliated with this or that. I mean, that, that, that's kind of how, how, how it goes, but this is different. This is different. This is about truth. This is about ascension, human advancement or the opposite, new world order being locked in our homes. And you guys know the rest of the list. So I've talked about the chemtrails a lot over many, many years, but this is why we're seeing what we're seeing, you know, and why we're not seeing more of a mass awakening because the ruling elite have devise chemtrails as a means of covertly microchipping us all in order to create antennas inside of us via nanotechnology. So it makes us totally controllable via a psycho-civilized um, society. Using HARP microwave antennas, the National Security Agency can establish a seamless computer link direct to our brains. But first they're using chemtrails to get the nanoparticles into us, which are reassembling in our bodies to form the antennas. So, you know, when we're awake, if we come in with a starseed mission, knowing that we're going to be up against all this stuff, we relate to these things very differently than somebody who is not going to even look at this kind of information, who literally lives on the TV and their identity is based on what they learned, um, not on, you know, who they are on an authentic level. It's still really hard to witness because we want everybody to be okay, but they're much more susceptible to this working, whereas those that are awake are already in a higher frequency and uh, they can kind of collapse and neutralize a lot of this stuff within their own being. But the main goal with all that is to control the bio neurology of the human population through electromagnetic signals, prescription drugs, medical devices, GMOs, and an assortment of toxins and poisons placed in the water, air, and food supply that generate many human diseases while ensuring that the knowledge to cure these diseases is made unavailable to the masses. And that's the thing with like the different choices of here, take this shot instead of, um, you know, work with some real, you know, good medicine. And we've been dealing with these, you know, patented technologies like MK Delta uh, and uh, programming behavior and attitudes in the general population. And it can create fatigue, mood swings, behavior dysfunction, and criminality. So when you see these big riots happening and this looting going on, 
and you see these, you know, towers and, and a lot of the electronic stuff, you know, hanging around, they can beam this onto crowds. They can, they can literally like beam this into crowds. Um, the transmission and reception through television, radio antennae, power lines, even mattress spring coils. So that's really disturbing. That's why the EMF protection stuff is really important. And uh, yeah, you can kind of read through the other ones, but you know, these, these are real patented, you know, technologies to control the human race.